guys, it's Ali Enigma here, and welcome back to my channel. Um, I put some light blue in my hair, so I have a little tint of light blue throughout my hair, and um, I hope you guys like it. I like switching it up, and it's always fun to do something different with the hair. It keeps life a little bit more exciting. But um, today I am actually here to talk about a very relevant um, topic and that would be emotional abuse and just abuse in relationships in general and I wanted to cover this topic because it's something I've experienced throughout my whole life from um, multiple sources but mostly um, when I've been in romantic relationships and um, basically I have been struggling with uh, situational depression and PTSD from going through these situations, um, the abuse, and uh, basically I want to make everybody more aware of my situation, I guess. So if I ever seem like off or not having a good day or something like that, it's probably just like a bad day that I'm struggling with um, emotionally. But um, I have really good days too and I definitely keep trying to fight and, um, you know, not dwell on the past too much and try to keep myself from getting into bad situations. So the first reason why I ended up getting in these situations is because of certain people that basically convinced me that they were really good people and to give them a chance and kind of be self-accepting and basically accept all of the negative uh, judgments towards me, but basically nothing they did was ever held accountable to them. And um, these people would speak ill of me to other people that they were friends with or other people in their family, or even, it's even happened where they would talk bad about me to my own family and try to make me look bad intentionally, but they would still want me in their life. And that was the biggest thing that gave me extreme confusion was they still wanted me in their life. If I'm so horrible and a terrible person and you have to say all these horrible nasty things about me to other people just to maybe make yourself feel like bring me down to your level because the other person was the one that was actually causing me harm a lot, whereas I'm a very nice person. Anybody who knows me well enough knows that I'm extremely nice and extremely accepting and, um, you know, possibly naive at times, which has always um, been a disadvantage for my personality. And uh, people take advantage of that a lot. And I don't want that to happen anymore. And um, basically, like, um, it's really hard to think clearly when you're going through emotionally abusive relationships or friendships. So you kind of just accept um, what's happened to you and you kind of just try to forget about it or brush it off or like I've been told that I'm um, too sensitive or something. When really it's the emotional abuser's way to keep you in their control and so they don't have to be held accountable for their actions. When, um, the way that I think about it is if I've made somebody feel so horrible that they just want to cry or that they just want to break down, um, I would know that it was my actions causing that, but when people that are in denial of abusing you and in denial of being an abuser in general, they will blame it all on the other person. And I'm not trying to be a victim here. I don't want to play the victim. Like, I don't want to have gone through all of these situations. But I also don't want to be brushed off and have people just not believe me because, for one, I am not the type of person to just try to get attention for any um, situation that I possibly can. I'm kind of the opposite. Like, I don't want, you know, like negative attention or. Um, unwanted attention in general and I don't feel the desire to crave attention like I need the attention otherwise like I'm gonna feel empty inside no that's not the case at all I just want to spread awareness because um, 
it's self respect for standing up for myself on my own. I'm not gonna take any abuse from anybody and um, you know the best way that I've avoided the situation is just to not make an issue of it but also just stand up for yourself but if you can remove yourself from the situation calmly it's probably going to be the best for you because it's not going to be as traumatic so for me a couple of the situations that I've been that I felt like I was stuck in because these people would treat me horribly but they would still want me around and um, I just think they were kind of afraid to lose me, so they bullied me into thinking that, like, I was basically worthless and without them, like, I wouldn't be able to survive and that I needed them in my life and, um, I don't know, just all these weird things, but at the same time, like, if it was in a romantic relationship, this person would cheat on me emotionally, um, physically and uh, or like there's been a couple of times there have been in relationships that um, they would try to cheat on me but like they couldn't get anybody else which is really kind of pathetic to me like that's even more pathetic to me than actually cheating because it's like okay I'm here wasting my time you're trying to cheat on me and like I have no desire to cheat on you at all I have no desire for other people and then there's also been things like where they would turn that around on me and say that I was doing it when it really wasn't happening. Or um, I've had somebody that I was dating that basically would, their friends would put like bad ideas in their head and say like, oh, who's this person in this picture on Facebook, in this picture on Facebook. And it's like, I don't know. There's... I guess there could be reasons not to be trusted, but there just comes a line where you just have to, like, either give that person a chance and just tell them that, like, they are good enough and um, appreciate them being there because if I didn't want to be in that relationship, I would not be. I am the type of person that I would rather be on my own and uh, be alone and lonely and do everything for myself than be in a shitty relationship. And I think that some of the people that I dated in the past knew that, and that they would bully me even more to try to get me to stay and beat me down to the point where I couldn't leave. Um, basically, I, you know, like have been stolen from, like money-wise, and uh, beaten down to like rock bottom to where I just, I did not think that I was gonna get through it at all. Like, I just thought that this was going to be the rest of my life, is me um, trying to make this person happy, and they would just continuously get mad about one thing or another and take it out on me, even if it wasn't me doing anything. And that I would end up having horrible anxiety attacks to the point of, like, hiding in the bathroom and, like, just crying really hard and, like, not being able to breathe, having, like, a full-on panic attack. And um, the only time I ever really struggled with panic attacks before that is when my parents were like getting divorced and like fighting all the time and just through things like that. And uh, that's all a part of my situational depression. And so um, certain situations trigger it. And I have been wanting to just live a healthy life and try to do the best for myself. And I know that I'm not perfect by any means. like at all and um, all I can do is just really keep trying every day but um, as far as the emotional abuse is that when things happen when you get um, other people giving you problems and you try to just brush it off sometimes it sticks with me and um, changes my mood a lot and I try I try so hard every day just to be positive and keep my mood uplifted and you know, I want to share my positivity and love with you guys, too, because this is another thing that I love to do is YouTube videos. And honestly, um, YouTube videos and playing guitar and becoming um, more a part of this little community out here has really saved my life. And um, I'm still healing and recovering, and every day is a battle. Um, uh, I feel like I almost don't have a day that I just feel good all day anymore. 
I used to be just like the happiest go lucky person, nothing negativity could get me down, but anymore I just, um, I think I'm still like recovering a lot and you know, some days you think you're fully recovered, but then some days you realize like that um, progress is very slow, but I won't ever give up on, on myself and I'm trying not to give up hope. Like certain days I feel completely hopeless and like I've given up. But I know that's a temporary feeling and it does go away, so um, I know that I'm going to be okay. But the thing that really gets me the most is that how other people can just be so careless and like tear somebody else apart just for, for sheer impulse because they can't control their own emotions and they have to take it out on somebody else that they view as an easy target and basically I'm not going to be anybody's doormat anymore and like it just sucks because you get to the point where you feel like you can't really trust anybody not to like um, want to insult you or hurt you in some way and I always um, you know, I just, I hope for the best, but I also think that there can be a lot of times that somebody can just turn on you, and I always have that in the back of my mind, basically not to rely on anybody else because they could easily get mad at you or find some certain reason to do something bad against you, but all I can do is hope for the best, and um, I'm going to keep talking to you guys about this because I feel like it's an important subject and maybe if I can help anybody else that struggles with past emotional abuse and uh, recovering from that as well. It's really hard because um, when you get away from that situation you feel very lost and you feel very confused still and you can almost feel like something's missing and that's why people go back to it because they're so beaten down and if that's what they're accustomed to like they're gonna go back to that because they're gonna think that like that's the only way and it's not at all like you deserve to be treated exactly how you want to, want to be treated and I deserve to be treated how I want to be treated <clears throat> and um you shouldn't have to deal with any kind of abuse. If somebody is unhealthy for you, like, I don't know. If they treat you good, but they're unhealthy to themselves, I guess that's one thing. But I've noticed that people that are really unhealthy and make, like, shitty life choices tend to treat other people the way that they treat themselves. And so, um, just no get to know the red flags, steer clear, like getting involved with people like that. Friendship wise it's a little bit harder because you want to unconditionally love your friend and you realize their weaknesses and their insecurities and maybe they're also taking things out on you and they are too ashamed to apologize and that's where I've realize things and I've been able to brush it off but just because I don't react to it doesn't mean that it doesn't hurt me and it does and um, that's something that I've been healing from a lot lately because uh, it's like sometimes you just have people in your life that tell you one thing and they do another thing and they also just tend to uh, manipulate you into believing certain situations that aren't true and yeah so <clears throat> let me know in the comments um, what you guys have experienced through emotional abuse or what you're going through and I'm here for you guys just so you know like I never want to be one of those youtubers that has this super big ego facade like my life is perfect and I am just you know, I got this perfect life and blah blah blah. Because it isn't, although I make the best of what I have and I'm very grateful for everything that I have. So it does seem like <clears throat> I am enjoying my life because I try to enjoy my life as much as I possibly can. And um, you should too because that's what you deserve. You deserve to be happy, you deserve to be treated well, you deserve to treat yourself well, you deserve to be healthy. You deserve to have a healthy partner, you deserve to have healthy friendships, 
all of that is deserved and why it isn't attainable I'm not sure because anymore I just see this natural like veil of negativity that everybody wears because we're so programmed to be negative that's all we ever do and it just oh god it's a pet peeve for sure but um I want to be that outlet to show you that it doesn't have to be that way and even if I'm just one example all on my own besides everybody else and everyone else thinks differently then so be it I'm gonna be that person because that's what I feel like I'm here to be and um, I feel that natural negativity that I've automatically picked up throughout my life and have been conditioned to I am definitely conditioned to negativity and I can see it in everybody else and maybe my awareness is what makes me try for something more but um, you just gotta fight the negativity with positivity and even those people that will not accept your positivity and will just spew out negativity back at you just don't take it personally at all it's not your fault like if somebody else makes you feel like shit even though you know you did nothing you know you did your best to be the best person for that person you know you tried your best to be a good friend you tried your best to be a good girlfriend and um, you're not satisfied with the results of things it's like well you just have to figure out the boundary and draw the line of how much you can take from a person and um, although um, it is hard to find <clears throat> that boundary and um i am gonna stop rambling that's gonna be it for my rant on emotional abuse leave me a comment leave me a like if you like these kind of videos and i will continue to do more and that's gonna be it for today guys and i'll talk to you in my next video